We're now moving on to the finals, and the first one is the B final in Division 1. Number 34, Graham Strugnall. Number 2, Henk van der Broek. Number 16, Barry Wilmot. Number 8, Joe Hellenbrand. Number 18, Peter Kramer. Number 12, Joe Coppenjohn. Number 20, Johan Stenberger. And number 24, Dick uh, Blumenthal. So we've got a fair number of the Dutch in this particular final now. The door open on uh, car number two, Henk uh, van der Broek, the Renault slap bang in the center of the grid. And the marshals waiting, I think, for the final cars to come out. I'm not quite sure we've got them all on the grid at the moment. It's Graham Strugnell, I think, they're waiting for to come through there, David, onto the front of the grid. Graham will have actually just missed out, having qualified for the A final. Uh, it appears that he is actually on pole position for the B race. So. Uh, that means he'll have only just missed out going through. If he wins this particular race, though, he, there is still a chance that he can actually take part in another race. So we're still waiting to see if number 34 will make it to the line in time. And uh, so, oh, there's a car coming out onto the track now. And yes, he's made it. Thank goodness for that, because we want to see how he goes. And he's down there into pole position as well so he's got to work his way through this uh, traffic jam just in time yes and i must say david that uh, the tiac organizers the the event is organized by the thames estuary automobile club and the dutch club nrv have done a very good job of keeping the meeting going today despite all the incidents and we hear the engines start revving up as they come under starters orders they're looking at the lights and off they go with van der Broek making a very very good start there owen strugnell just making contact with uh, the toyota corolla of joe Hellenbrand, and we've already seen a car disappearing i think it's the fiat of jan timberg well it's quite a battle there between wilmot and um, and strugnell uh, they having a little sort out for second and third place, but number two, Henk van der Broek in the uh, Renault. Oh, he's got it stuck onto the dusty stuff, and he lost a lot of power then. They're all closing up behind him. Well, this is great, because with these uh, times, that oh, there's another bump. He clouted him, the Renault at the back clouted him and wound him round. And, and that's Peter Kramer that spun around, number 18. Look at those tie marks on the track. I think he'll be able to keep going again if he can get the car around. <laughs> he made a detour through the ditch. That was a rather brave thing to do because it looked to be rather steep. Uh, drop down the far side as the rest of the race now have no time to wait for him. As uh, Henk van der Broek still in the lead there, uh, rocketing along with uh, Graham Strudel in second place. And he's going to try and go around the outside of him. He's taken too far, too wide a line. And he might, in fact, have lost his second place. I think Wilmot tried to come up on the inside, but he couldn't quite make it. So he's had to be content with staying in second place went the long way around to do it well wilmot has his uh, own hands full keeping the red toyota corolla of helen brand behind him but struggle again going a little bit wide wilmot closes as the leader van der Broek pulls away and up the hill it's uh, uh, barry wilmot level no has to fall back again i don't think that graham struggle is going to let him get by he moves out he's up onto the grass and he lose a lot of time there very cheeky move there as Joe, as, uh, Joe Hellenbrand sees an opportunity, but uh, Barry Wilmot moves over, not going to let him through. Seems to be a lot of needle now between these drivers, even between the British drivers themselves. I think that uh, they all want to get in there. Certainly, there's a lot to rest on the winner of this race because he's the one that goes through into the A-final. And I think the number eight there, the red car, Joe Hellenbrand in the Corolla, he has got quite a fast motor car. He just can't get past these two cars in front of him. He keeps looking for a way through. He goes out, comes back, goes in. I think given a good clear run, he could go quite quickly. He's going to try and come up on the outside, but there's no, there's no way for him to go. There really is a close uh, quarter stuff, this. is. There's no room for anybody to get through. Yes, and Van der Broek actually is uh, someone who has raced quite regularly there with uh, Graham Strugnell. Here we see Barry Wilmot still holding off Joe Hellenbrand and pulls out a bit of uh, a gap as we go down the hill but now struggling it's all over yes oh he's going to be squeezed out I think by the Renault there no the two cars yes they're touching there and the Renault has spun struggling is also and struggle's gone and the Wilmot's gone and number eight has gone straight through eight's gone clear and uh, a short cut by struggle he went through the grass actually there and eight got through in time and uh, so those two have been uh, eliminated at the moment they've got to try and get back on the track number eight went on the far side we thought he might make it one day and he's managed to get out through there and that 
was Joe Hellenbrand, who's got away now. He said four and a half laps, by the way, the, uh, the B final. So four and a half laps they've got to do. So a bit longer on this uh, race. More time to sort themselves out. So four and a half lap final they've got. And he's way on the struggle. He's still going like hell for leather, though. Uh, he must have corrected himself and got out of trouble. He, I wonder what they'll do, actually, though, Bill, because he went across the grass and cut the corner completely. So he just get a time penalty or what? Because he was forced to go across the grass. Well, by rights there, that should be an exclusion because he did actually go all four wheels off. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway because Strugnall has, in fact, abandoned the car. He didn't continue with the race there, like we thought. And we see uh, one of the other back markers there still going. Actually, that was a second place man as Helen Brand comes round to complete yet another lap coming off the chalk. He was very, very lucky there to get through because uh, in the melee there, as uh, all the drivers... Uh, Yes, certainly. The chequered flag has actually come out for Helen Brand. We lost count there in all the excitement. And Renault 5 coming through to take second place. And Kramer actually recovered from that spin at the top of the hairpin to take third place. Well, we shall have to wait. Officially, then, uh, we certainly saw number eight, Joe Hellenbrand, go through to win that race. But uh, we'll have to wait. It was second and third because of enough uh, uh, off-course excursions. And um, we'll have to wait the official results of seconds and thirds. But uh, Hellenbrand saw the gap, went through it, and ran out victor of the uh, first, uh, the Division One B final.